This video will explain some basic things about contemporary art. Wait, why does art need to be explained? Well, it doesn't. No one is stopping you from doing whatever you like. But hopefully, it will give you some context to why things like this are in museums, and not often things like this. And this. Using easy to understand language and not dumbing it down. Any discussion about art has to start with the fundamental question of what exactly art is. You could say that art is painting or sculptures. And there is a wide variety of answers. I'm just going to define art as being this thing that people do, and that it is an inevitable outcome of humanity, which is a good wide-ranging definition, but it doesn't really capture everything, nor does it explain why there is some art that is generally accepted in museums and galleries, and some that is not, and it definitely doesn't differentiate between good art and bad art. This brings us to the next question of good and bad in the context of art. Is there good art? Is there bad art? Since art is subjective, and good and bad are universal terms, it's not generally useful to say good or bad. What is useful is to explain why you have a reaction to something, and this explanation is usually based on how you define art, or the definition that you're currently using. This could also be explained as using a lens. Not a real lens, but a metaphorical lens. Since the terms good and bad are confusing when discussing art, how do you decide what is good art? So, you take your perspective, point of view, or lens that you see the art through, and discuss why it has merit. So, for example, if your version of good art consists of accurate to real life painting, you say this is a good painting because it looks like real life. This is called a discursive practice. Since there is not one unified definition of art, the only way to understand it is on subjective terms that talk or discuss art in a dialogue with people. So, to recap, art is hard to define and there are many definitions. Based on these definitions, people have different points of views that create theories and perspectives that can be called a lens. You use the differing points of views to analyze and discuss art, called a discourse. In the next video, I will discuss how these varying points of views and theories have affected art.